Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Supernatural. Last episode was a doozy. They are now on the run from the FBI nationally. Um, after an apparent bank robbery, they left behind a lot of skins and dead bodies, so not looking good. Um, we lost Ronald, our mandroid loving friend. Um, I really liked him, that was a bummer. Um, moving forward, this next episode is called Houses of the Holy. Maybe spirits? We'll see. Let's get into it. The Lord is with you. Um, maybe something else is with her. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to be lost. The Lord is I agree. talking to Evangelicals you right are now. He's saying, <laughs> you are my child and you have a purpose. You think God forgot about you? I tell you, no. All you gotta do is listen. Can't you just hear those angels singing? What? Don't go towards the light. I stabbed a man in the heart. Why would you do that? Because it was God's will. I just know what the angel told me. That this man was guilty to his deepest foundations. That was and no that's angel. good enough for me. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. You gotta try this. There really is magic in the magic fingers. Dean. You're enjoying that way too much. It's kind of making me uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not supposed to. I mean, you got me a lockdown here. I'm bored out of my skull. She wouldn't be the first nut job in history to kill in the name of religion. Know what I mean? No, but she's the second in town to murder because an angel told them to. A little bit odd, don't you think? Uh, yes, supernatural maybe, but angels, I don't think so. Why not? Because there's no such thing, Sam. <laughs> oh, they don't believe? Dean, there's ten times as much lore about angels as there is about anything else we've ever hunted. Dean! You and I have seen things most people couldn't even dream about. Exactly. With our own eyes. That's hard proof. Okay? It's odd that they believe time, in demons I've never angels. seen anything that looks like an angel. It's a fingernail. Ooh. She might not have been wrong. So much for the innocent church going librarian. Yeah, well, whatever spoke to Gloria about this knew what it was talking about. I'll give you that. Are we dealing with angels? I don't know if, like, if there was a god and angels, they'd be having these humans exact vengeance or... Whatever. Can I help you? Oh. Did you bring quarters? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm not enabling your sick habit. You're like one of those lab rats that pushes the pleasure button instead of the food button. Until I it mean, dies. is that not D? I'm talking about I eat. I uh, all these emails, dozens, to this lady named Jennifer. This lady who's 13 years old. <gasps> oh, look at this. Looks like they met in the chat room. Ever since he died, I've been praying my heart out. For what? For deliverance from the violence and the bloodshed around here. Devoted priest dies a violent death? That's eventual spirit material right there. And he knew all the other stiffs because they all went to church here. In fact, I'm willing to bet because he was their priest, he knew things about them that nobody else knew. Then again, Father Reynolds started praying for God's help about two months ago, right? What's next? Are you going to start praying every day? I do. Oh. I do pray every day. I have for a long time. Things you learn about a guy. I was wrong. Huh. Come on, let's go check out Father Gregory's grave. Sam is the molder. He's the believer. 
over. <gasps> oh no! Sammy, come on, hit the left. Sammy! It spoke to me. It knew who I was. Did it tell you to kill somebody? This is a spirit, Sam. Kane is not the first one to be able to read people's minds. Dean, the angel hasn't been wrong yet. Someone's gonna do something awful, and I can stop it. You know, you're supposed to be bad too, Sam. Maybe, maybe I should just stop you right now. <gasps> you know what, Dean? I don't understand. Don't do Why that. can't you even consider the possibility? What, that this is an angel? Yes. Maybe we're hunting an angel here, and we should stop. Maybe this is God's will. Yeah, we just need a few odds and ends, and that uh, seance ritual in Dad's journal. Oh, seance, great. Oh, what is it, man? Funny, actually. Seriously. Another ghost reference. <gasps> and that's it. What? That's a sign. What? Oh, God. It could have been the light of the car. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I got this guy. You go do the seance. Game. Uh. Y'all should stay together. This is, uh. A seance. A seance? Young man, you are in the house of God. It's based on early Christian rites, if that helps any. Mm -hmm. Enough. You're coming with me. Father, please, just wait a second. <gasps> beating their demons and I've given them the keys to heaven no no this is vengeance it's wrong we should go or we're gonna be late <gasps> oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry it's just I've never done this before been a Look, human being sorry. please come on Dean of the Holy Spirit now descend that this being might be awakened to the world beyond. Destiny, when I think about how I could end up. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. All right. I'm watching out for you. Yeah, I know you are. His guardian angel? You're just one person, Dean. And I needed to think that there was something else watching, too, you know? Whoever your spirit gave you some pretty good information. The yeah. guy in the car was bad news. I barely got there in time. What happened? He's dead. Dean, what did you see? Maybe... God's will. Wow. like that episode that was good um I never really thought about I just I guess I just assumed that they were both believers in God because obviously they're dealing with demons and I guess I just would naturally think that if you are dealing with that and have seen that and witnessed that that you would believe in the the other part of that the good good and evil thing but, dang, Dean, Dean has not been a, a believer. He just believes in a chaotic 
random evil universe, which is kind of what I believe in in real life. But in the show, I thought, you know, I just assumed that they were both religious. And Sam, it turns out, is. He, he prays. But it seems like Dean got a little bit more faith in his life now. Um, I don't know if that would have been enough for me to be like, oh, that seems like God's will. Like, that it seemed like random. Um, I don't know if that would have been enough to make me start, like, questioning things. But that was a rough death. <laughs> um, this episode really reminded me of that movie Frailty. It came out, like, probably, like, 15 years ago. It was Bill Paxton and Matthew McConaughey. It dealt with, like, getting messages from the from angels and, like, you know, having people act, act out in that way, killing bad people. Um, so, if you like this episode, I would check that out because that movie is really good, really weird. The way they set it up with Sam being someone that does have faith and is a believer in a god... It's interesting that he was willing to believe that it could be an actual angel. Um, and I guess that's kind of left up in the air. Because with Dean saying that at the end, that it seemed like a will of, of God. And that the, the dead priest was correct. Like he was going to do something bad. So... Maybe that information did come from God. Um, so it, it seems like both of them kind of like came to a middle. Sam maybe is believing a little bit less. Dean is believing a little bit more. So that that's a good place to be. Um, I'm just, uh, God, I just assume that with demon, like, I feel like if, you know, I'm like, I feel like how Dean was, but if I was dealing with the shit they were dealing with, I feel like I would have been believing in a God. I don't know. I thought this was a very cool premise, like, having a priest who was hearing probably these people's worst sins and confessions and using that after he dies to exact vengeance. That's an interesting take. Um, I don't know if like having a dead body in your basement and being a pedophile is something that the church is like obligated to go to the police about, but you would think so. So I feel like you would have already gotten that taken care of, but it is a cool or it's an interesting idea that someone who already feels super close to God as a priest would think that when they died, they become an angel for God. That's actually really interesting. I like that. And I actually really like the ambiguity of it all. Like that priest, maybe, I don't think he was completely right, but maybe he was doing some of God's will with that ending being what it was. And I like, I like that it's open for interpretation. I wonder if on the show we actually ever get to the point where we know whether or not there's a God and angels and all that. Yeah, I really like this episode um, quite a lot. Like, it, it really touched on some interesting ideas. And it, I really got to learn more about D Sam and Dean and who they are. And, you know, that they're fighting the good fight, whether or not they believe that they're doing it for... A, an entity are just doing it because they you know have an, an innate need to do good like that's really so fascinating so to touch on that to like learn where they're at and kind of see them evolve in the episode to to how they're gonna like how they think going forward that's really interesting so I hope they touch on that more again and kind of just see where they end up in their in their beliefs so that was that was really cool so very good episode i liked it a lot thanks guys i'll be back soon